Bob here to do a uh, kind of an ode video. Uh, but I'm a lot, you know, I have some coming in soon. I got a lot of pre-orders coming in in April, but so I thought I'd do something a little different. And my ode to Scott from Scott Waters, uh, Dan from Dan Powers, and Greg from uh, Blackmore Rules. They always do. Uh, little stuff in their car, what's playing now, or what they're spinning in their car, and stuff like that. So, figured I'd change it up a little bit and throw something different in here and show you what's playing in my car today. Um, I'm about to head out to the store, which I hate shopping. Uh, I know, I think most guys don't like to shop unless we're digging for records. That's a whole different story. That don't count. Or in Home Depot, which I love. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to show you a couple bands. I'm just like, CDs that I have in my car currently. So I'm going to, what's playing in Rob's car? Uh, so, oh, let me turn it on. Why isn't that working? There we go. That should have been on. Anyway, first CD I'm play, that's in my car that's going on. I've, this is new to me, so bear with me here. Um, is it Malmsteen's newest, The World on Fire? Uh, great album. This is a Japanese press. This is a very, I've heard a few times I pay a little more for a CD. Is a Japanese pressing. They're always a little more expensive. Is when I... Uh, or it's one of my favorite bands or artists. I'll do that. Great album. I know a lot of people aren't instrumental fans. There is a couple... I think there's two or three, I think two, uh, songs on here with vocals as well. The first one being World on Fire. But it's great. It's got one of my favorite instrumentals by him uh, called Largo. Very um, Black Star-ish in the way it sounds to me. Next is Megadeth's United Ab Abominations. Which personally, I think is a really good album. I know a lot of people don't care for it. They don't get it. Doesn't really get talked about much in the in the VC or CZ, whatever you're going to call it, music world. Uh, I personally love it. I think it's a great album. Uh, what's that third song? Never walk alone. Call to arms. I love that song. Uh, next one is kicked and uh, kicked and clawed by Cats and Boots. Really good, uh, they got like a couple albums, but they're more like demo reboots and stuff like that. But uh, this was a killer album. It's got a great song on there called Every, Sun Every Sunrise. It's kind of a ballady, uh, a ballady song, but it kicks in the end, you know. Power ballad of sort, I guess, but not a power ballad. Kicked and clawed. I actually have an extra copy of this that I'm sending to... Um, as I break all my shit that I'm sending to uh, dude in 1973 uh, next is Phantom Blue with Built to Perform their second album which is heavier and crunchier than their first uh, I love both albums I love this band even after the singer left they were still pretty damn good pretty tough uh, CD to find now The, the vinyl for this is ridiculous. It's on my want list. Next is a, uh, a thrash band, although I, thrash is such a loose term. Uh, and I, Metallica is not really thrash anymore. Megadeth's not really. They're more speed metal, whatever you want to call it. But the band's called Blatant Disarray. Everyone dies alone. If you like good Metallica, uh, good over. Uh, he doesn't have the overkill voice. Sounds a lot like Metallica, I mean, to be honest with you. Uh, here's the... Metallica, Anthrax, Testament. Yeah, I can see a little bit of all that in there as it's described. I, I saved the hype sticker on the CDs, too. So, yeah, I, I would say that's pretty accurate to what they sound like. It's a dive bomb release, which... I love dive bomb reissues and stuff like that. But this is, isn't a reissue. They actually put this out on their own. And lastly is a modern band, which is one of my favorite bands. Um, it's actually going to, going to be doing a video about modern stuff people should be listening to. But the band's called Letters from the Fire. 
and the, uh, the album's called Worth the Pain. Oh my god, can I drop everything we're down here today? Um, uh, female front, uh, very, it's very modern, but it has that 80s guitar work in it, you know what I mean, that really good hair metal style in the background, if you listen to the music separately, what, a lot of people, you know, a lot of guys are stuck in the 80s overall, I mean, some of us just, that's my wheelhouse, I'm not saying stuck there, I'm saying it's hard to get away from that. I love the 80s music, and that's my home, as far as I'm concerned. But there's plenty of new modern music out there, if you search it out. Um, that's great to listen to. And this is one of these bands. The sad part about this band is the singer, actually, the original singer actually left. These seats are getting hot. The singer actually left. Uh, I don't know if she was left or kicked out. They really didn't get into it. All I read was that it was political differences. What? What? You have a great sounding band and because you disagree on politics? That's like kicking a family member out of your family because they don't agree with your political beliefs. What the fuck is wrong with people today? Anyway, you guys should check out this band. I do have an extra copy of this, so if somebody really, really likes them, and I mean really like them, don't bullshit me just to get something free, let me know and I will send you a copy of it. Anyway, guys, that's what's going on in my car today. Uh, as I said, I'm about to head to the supermarket. Yay me. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm not good at this stuff, so it's a spare of the moment. Threw my phone up and had these CDs in my car. I always have CDs in my car. And believe it or not, yeah, I do have CDs. I actually got CDs on order coming in. But, uh, yeah, that's my very... I collect a group of CDs in my car today. I'm getting out of here. I'm doing that rambling thing I always do. Y'all have a great day. I uh, hope everybody gets some damn good stuff. Uh, congrats to Dan Powers. I know he has hit 200 subs. Um, I know Ron Haggerty is really close to... Uh, uh, do it. You can say it. Really close to 500 subs. Um, Ron Haggerty, as it's spelled. Uh, you look If you can look that up. H A G G. E-R-T-Y, I think it's right. I'll link it in the thing below. But let's get him over 500 subs. Um, I'm sure most of you guys that sub me or sub to him. But if you guys aren't, go, go, go do it. Go do it. I can't talk. I'll see y'all later. Bye.